Hello everyone. I'm so glad you have joined me today. Today we're going to be using some more of the Meandering Meadow DSP. I am down to three sheets that I have not used. This one, this one, and this one. And today I'm using these two sheets. And that will take care of all of them but that one sheet. The first card I'm gonna do, and I kind of messed up, but I'll show you what I did. I used, whoops, wrong one. This one, we're not using this one. I used this piece of paper, and let me show you what I did. I took that paper and this tree is such a focal image that I really wanted to have most of it in there. So what I did was I knew I needed a piece that was going to be three inches wide. So I flipped it around and I cut it at two inches, three inches. Then I knew I wanted it at four inches. I didn't want to lose too much of the bottom. So if I put it in this way at four inches, I'm only using part of the tree, so I cut it at that way. And that's how I ended up with this piece from that corner. All right, this one is a quick and easy idea because it's such a pretty card that I thought, okay, I'll do this this way. And you can easily repeat this on the other with the piece on the other side since you've cut it at three inches you'll have exactly three inches on the other side I don't know why I spent all that time putting that together but I did that pin back in there all right so I'm gonna add this on here all right your card base is Highland Heather that's five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a fourth. This piece was three by four. This is three and a fourth by four and a fourth. And this piece is four by five and a fourth. Totally missed that. Have you ever had those days? All right, so I'm gonna fold and burnish my card base. All right, and we're gonna use some of the adhesive back sparkle gems. This piece goes on here like so. Um, it's going to have a lot of white space with this one. Uh, I just thought the paper needed to take the, be the focus, so to speak. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here. All right, like so. This, I'm going to pop up with dimensionals. So let me grab my dimensionals and start adding them to my card. Um, I have so many sitting around here. I want to use up some of these pieces that I've got. I've got strips like this everywhere. So it's like, okay, and I have some that are um, just the end pieces, the little tiny skinny strips left that I need to move over to my other place for when I need strips. Oh, I don't want that up there. Good thing I didn't press down too hard. There. All right, let me get my backs off. Well, it's up. So I can at least pull it off. And let me get these off. Well, these aren't even going to stay on my pokey tool. They're going to go flying everywhere. All right. Now, I'm going to put this on. It's got to be right side up and it needs to be even so even out your card and get it you know as close to even as you can and now let's do some of the sparkle gems and I think I'm going to use the silver 
because I think that will look very pretty on there. So let's see, I've got a big one here. Oops. Yep, I'm gonna put that on with my hand. There's one, and then a small one. You know, it's coming off, but it's not coming off evenly. Um, I'll put that one in there. Another small one that I'll put down here. Um, I'm thinking I need some more. So I'll put one there and I'll put a big one down there. All right, so there's the first idea quick and easy, but it highlights part of the image. And from the textured floral die, I used this image to decorate the inside of the card and the envelope. Let's make card two. Card two is going to use this piece of paper, and I haven't cut it because I wanted to show you um, what I'm doing. I'm going to do a modified spotlight technique. For this card, you need your card base that's five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a fourth. I'm using white. And then to go with the melon mumbo, I have a four by five and a fourth inch layer. All right, and then my DSP. So the first thing I'm gonna do is this is going to be in landscape mode. So I know it needs to be, let's see, four inches. So it, all right, I need it at five inches. Actually, I'm gonna go five and one sixteenth. Okay, if I go this way, I'm, I'm playing with the paper to see which way I want it. I think I want it this way, so I'm gonna cut it at five and one sixteenth. And then I need it at four and, let's see, 13 sixteenths. So it's three lines before the four. All right. But I'm gonna do some switching. I'm gonna take this end, if I cut off this, maybe three-fourths of an inch. I'm gonna cut off three-fourths of an inch from the bottom. Then I'm gonna to go to three and 13 sixteens. And that gives me some of this, a little bit more of that tree, but it gives me some of that also. So I kind of strategically placed it. Now, this is not wasted. You can use these as strips to decorate. All right, now, to do the spotlight idea, what you do is usually it's done with a stamp and you stamp it in black and white, or stamp, stamp it in black on white paper, punch out a piece, color it, and then put it back in with the color behind it so that only part of it is colored. You, If you do it with um, pattern paper, I'm just gonna punch out circles. And I was gonna go with two and a fourth and two and a half, but I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna go two and a fourth and two. So my two inch is gonna come out of here and I'm gonna pull it right about there, like so. And now I need a two and a fourth inch circle. Well, I'm going to make good use of this paper that's going to be hidden I just have to make sure, well, it really doesn't matter because the other piece is gonna be on top of there. So I'm gonna punch out, I don't want it too close to the edge to show. I'm gonna punch out my circle from there. If it doesn't work, I'll just grab another piece. All right, this is gonna go on here. Gotta make sure I put my glue on the right side. Oh, that would have been a pretty one, but I think I may have used that one. I don't know. All right, let me put this down 
and it doesn't matter how this goes on there because it's a circle. Now, let's fold and burnish our card base. Okay. This piece is gonna go on here like so. And remember, it doesn't matter if that hole shows. All right, now hopefully, I probably have a bunch of glue that'll go on my mat, so I'm gonna pick it up real quick. Yes, let me get my towel. I probably should have put this on my card base first. When you do yours, put it on the card base first. Then you don't have to worry about your glue getting anywhere. All right. And see, nobody's going to see this. All right, so this goes on here like so. I didn't pull in any gems for this. Hmm. This is going to go on with dimensionals. Well, let me find some over here. Here's some right here. And I'm going to add these. around the edge, and I need one more right there. Oh, missed that one. Didn't come off. Okay, now, when you put this back in, make sure it goes in the correct way, all right? And see, nobody knows that you punched out from the back of there. And I think it needs a sentiment. So with my melon mambo, I'm going to stamp. Hmm. I think I'm going to use the just a note. I may have it out already. Yes, I do. Let me grab it. Okay, and I'm going to use a scrap of paper because I'm going to fussy cut around it. And it doesn't matter if it's on there straight since you're going to fussy cut around it. So I'm going to take my scissors and, you know, I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to trim it. I think fussy cutting is just not going to look right. So give me a minute to get this set up and what I'm doing is I'm taking the bottom pieces right, there there and I'm taking the J and the bottom of the end and I'm putting it like here's my cutting channel it's even with that line right here all right, so I've got that. Now I'm gonna put this in, and I'm gonna do the same thing to get it, to make sure it's even. I'm gonna line up that um, edge. Now you gotta hold this tight because it's a tiny piece. If you struggle, use a bigger piece. All right, now with this, I'm going to use a post-it note. So let me grab one, I'm gonna show you a little tip here. Take your post-it note and put it on your paper and then use that to line up those letters, the tops of those letters, push it down and then it'll, it gives you a little handle to hold on to and it keeps it in place. All right. And this edge is a little bit messed up. It's a little afraid, so I'll fix it. I don't know how much of this is gonna get cut off. Let's see. Just a tiny bit, so I'm gonna use the bottom to make sure I cut it straight. Oops, that's the wrong thing. That's a scoring blade. <coughs> 
and that's a little crooked, so I will even it out. Let me just leave that on there, and I'll take my scissors. And I'm gonna even it up, and this end goes up just slightly. Okay, so there. All right, got it. And I'm gonna put this on, and I'm not gonna put the Melon Mamba behind it. I think it would get lost on the card. So I'm gonna just take my dimensionals and add them. I'm gonna put one in the middle just to give it some extra support. And I'm gonna add that to my card base. And, all right, let's do the just a note right there. And I'm wondering about gems. Okay, I can put them back. Don't ask me why. All right, I'm gonna use some of these. These are the Glossy Dots assortment. All right, and they are current. So I'm gonna take one here. And I'm gonna take a middle size one and put it here. And then a small one and put it here. So I'm kind of following that circle. And then at the bottom, to offset it, I'm gonna put one there, and I'm gonna use one of the small ones, and one there. So I used my circle to determine, to do a, to kind of follow it. And I used the same stamp to stamp the inside and the envelope that's from textured florals I used for the other one. I hope you enjoyed these two ideas. These are a little bit easier. I felt after yesterday I needed a little bit easier card for you. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget, check out my um, the link to the blog post so you can see these a little bit better. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button for my channel. Have a great day. Bye.